we were hunting this morning and the dogs found this roe deer doe dead he must have died during the night and we don't know what what happened because there is nothing obvious on the outside and i think it's a good example of why hunters are a big part of conservation of of these animals because here we are in a territory that no one comes because it's, there's nothing exciting it's in the middle of the northern part of spain and hunters spend a lot of time in this taking care of these animals and getting to know these animals and uh, getting to know what's going on and we are able to find these type of things and rather than just let it let it be like it's something natural we want to know more so right now i'm gonna open it try to find if there is some sign of what could have been the reason of the death of this doe and I'm gonna take blood samples, I'm gonna take some tissue samples and send it to the university through the Spanish Road Deer Association and try to analyze what was the reason or what could have happened uh, to this doe and try to understand what's going on, try to maybe put Act to aid and try to make this population of drow deer in this area healthier. So, taking care of them. Let's see if we find something something useful. It seems that after checking the inside, it has a big infection in the lungs. I'm not sure what type of infection it is, but I will send some samples, send it to the university. Probably that's the cause of this doe's death, and. I highly recommend everyone, every hunter, to get involved in these type of associations and give them a hand. It's our responsibility to try to help these associations that are trying to understand better the animals, understand better how to uh, conserve these animals and, and give them a hand with our research. So it's highly valuable and I highly recommend you guys to get, get involved. Thank you.